Hi guys, good evening and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video I'll be discussing what I thought of the latest and most explosive episode of the limited series on CBS All Access, The Stand. They dropped a new episode today, as usual, on the Thursdays. Before I begin, of course, please be warned, this is a spoiler-filled, and I mean spoiler-filled, episode review. So if you're not caught up on The Stand by this episode or previous episodes, you might not want to keep watching or listening as I will be discussing big big spoilers so you have been warned let's get right back into it um first and foremost I absolutely loved that they've introduced uh one of the most one of the more memorable characters from the original miniseries Trash Can Man the pyro uh maniac uh lunatic that of course uh, flag recruits into his post-apocalyptic uh, following that was awesome I had almost completely forgotten that Ezra Miller of all people was going to be playing this role so when the old episode opened on that character revealing it to be Ezra Miller I was like oh yes that's right he's playing uh, trash can man that is excellent I am really really looking forward to seeing him in action over the course of the next actually remaining three episodes guys i realize we've only got three episodes left which is pretty shocking although it is lining up with the how the story is was pacing out in the original miniseries so things do seem to be on track for the most part overall uh really liked it i really loved uh how Flag lost his temper with the uh, bad attitude idiot henchman who, of course, killed the judge when Flag wanted her alive to for information. And um, I really thought he was going to make the guy spontaneously combust or, like, just uh, set him on fire simply using his mind or his eyes. But he just snuck into the elevator and ripped him to pieces like an animal, which was also pretty cool and violent. And I loved how the camera panned down and it revealed that his heart was still in his hand as he exited the elevator all bloody and whatnot. <laughs> I also hope that now we've introduced Trash Can Man into the mid fold that... I hope that this show uh, develops more of the relationship uh, of the friendship between Lloyd and Trash Can Man because we kind of got a little bit of a glimpse of that in the original miniseries. They didn't really do or explore a whole lot with it and I wish they would have because I really liked the friendship between Trash Can Man and Lloyd in the original miniseries you know they're not like super best buddies but they like each other enough and we kind of saw that in the original miniseries i'm really hoping they expand on it in this new version but maybe maybe not we'll see i also loved how lloyd and uh the pink haired lady and the henchmen all were backing up as they could all tell uh flag was not happy with this henchman for killing the judge <laughs> thought that was pretty cool um you know, I wasn't surprised to see Nick die in the explosion. That's what happens in the original miniseries. Pretty much, you know, everything we've seen so far has been pretty spot on in terms of adaptation from the original miniseries. Harold and Nadine setting a bomb in the house. Although the context was different in the original miniseries, it was a committee meeting, not a vigil. I like the fact that they changed that because they were planning to take out more than just the committee uh, they were want to take out everybody, which is pretty awful to think about. Pretty much an act of mass destruction against the people of Boulder. But it looks like Nick and probably just three or four other people who are still in the house were probably the only casualties. I loved seeing Flag and Mother Abigail finally meet face to face for the very first time and have their biblical standoff where they're trying to get under each other's skin. To an extent, I believe they both did. How they both pointed out each other's fears or paranoias about the other. I thought that was pretty cool. And Alexander Skarsgård and Whoopi Goldberg were both great in that scene. I really liked them both. And everybody was great in this episode, so I really enjoyed that as well. Overall, another great episode, very faithful to the original miniseries. I am so happy Trash Can Man is now in the fold, and uh, I also love how uh, Tom uh, was able to figure out or get somebody to just tell him, hey, what's this word, so he could figure out you know, the message, which was to run. Disgusting, but brilliant exit. I mean, you got to hand it to him. The guy may be mentally handicapped, but he was smart enough to know an exit when he saw one, which was getting into the back of the truck full of bodies. Eh. 
but brilliant. And hopefully he'll get out of there long before Flag realizes he's the spy. Although he did seem to realize it when he overheard, uh, I think it was the Rat Woman calling over the radio. Hey, get that guy who's always saying Moon, M-O-O-N. So great episode. Really enjoyed it. There are things that uh, didn't really surprise me and some things that kind of surprised me, but that's only because I'm familiar with with the original miniseries and that's not to say I hated it I very much enjoyed it as I hope you guys did so what did you think of this episode I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below in the comments section thank you so much for watching I hope your 2021 is off to a better and more hopeful start for me it personally is there's a lot to look forward to this year in terms of TV and uh, television and I hope you're all there with me thanks for watching everybody have a great rest of your night and of course until next time may the force be with you